guys, back to now. Today, I just picked up myself a Texas branded Two Rod XL5, and I will do a little review and how I got this to this point. But before we do that, like and subscribe to the video so you don't miss any any future videos with this exciting banded parting time. So this is a Texas branded. This originally from 1986. The model was actually pretty much a buggy, a uh, standard buggy with a Russell chassis. And if for those who were OGs to the RC Junior channel, you could have remembered I had a Russell on the channel. But I since sold it and I got myself this time a Traxxas Bandit. This car, this car has a bunch of upgrades. It has the RPM caster blocks, steering blocks, and hub carriers, RPM bumper, rear bumper, so I don't question into anything, and aluminum shock amps. This car is actually one of my more better preferred cars because one, I can travel it, two, it's an Ursula Chase Bassy. So I can just put it into anything. I can just like can I can convert it to a rustler. I can I can do anything. I have everything to so convert to a rustler. And two, it's actually a cheaper option. So this car, um, it has everything I like about the car. The, the only thing I kind of like is it. It's, it has not much power base. The bar is kind of disclosed, but a bit of driving. I like it. Um, driving style. That's one thing I can talk with this car. This car has the, one of the best driving styles. The the, the wheels, they're, they're kind of thin, but when when you touch them, like, it's really soft, it's really supple. Um, this also have accordions in the rear. It's black, chrome that accordions, uh, chipped out something. But, even though that is using, I'm actually using a nickel metal hydrides. I use these nickel metal hydrides here. Um, I sometimes use lipos, but I don't prefer using lipos since I don't have enough variables for these cars. And since this is the older, shorter battery tray, I, I, I don't prefer using lipos. But this car has one big benefit that is, it's been RPM'd already. Like the front bumper and custom blocks and head covers, steering blocks, that is a really good thing. Um, not fair, I like this thing. When, when the funky thing is when we drive in reverse, we just put the trigger in reverse. The car drives and drifts in reverse. It's really good. And I'm gonna be doing a little shot of that video. So stay tuned for that video. But I think this car is really cool. Like the body is cool. Like like anything would describe an RC car. Big wing and a big and some small tires to be that. Um, I saw a lot of people do all uh, customized for these. How like you can, you can you can make it a drag slash. Um, but put a CV, put a Chevy car, Chevy car or something. Just put a body, put some new cars, and it's gonna be wheeling everything down the track. But also, uh, but also, the thing is that this car is actually pretty nice to drive. Um, we'll put that little nice videos down below right there. Um, I think this is also a good addition to the to to the channel. This car, it's in my in my thoughts since like last year. And I've been thinking it, and I, I got it. So, um, the planes of this car, that's nothing to talk. I will maybe buy a new body, maybe compared to a wrestler. I don't know, maybe put a new China system in here. I don't want to see how that rips. Too, did they say we tune out the XL? So, um, yeah, this is actually a really new cause of excitement. I'm giving the Rust Pen Boys and Abandoned Fallen Boys one more try before I quit. So, um, also, not to mention, this car has one of the best features ever. It has also bearings, ball bearings. So that means it can smooth better. It's been maintained really well. The oils are capped up. Everything's nice. Everything's cool. Um, this car is up and driving it and flashing it. But, I'm going to be in our video, guys. Like and subscribe and see you guys back up. Bye.